So hopefully in about four weeks time I will do a thorough review of it. I'll post up another picture on my blog as well to show results of how my skin is doing and reacting to um, proactive treatment, regime, routine, whatever you want to call it. Um, so on with the haul. So yes, proactive. I got the whatever the most deluxe um, thing was. It came with this, it came with a toner, and the toner I actually like, it hasn't broken me out, and it's, it claims that it moisturizes and cleanses, and I've noticed that it does moisturize. Like, I especially get really, um, pretty bad drying after I wash my face around my lips, so I have to really moisturize there, and after using the toner in, those, in that area, I see that it's moisturized a little more. It's not quite as dry, so that helps too. Um, and it comes with some type of spot treatment as well, which I actually really like. Um, I'll go more into depth of what I think and all that in a different video, because I, I, I need to get through this. So, um, other face products that I've been loving, I got two shades of the CoverGirl Nature Luxe Silk liquid silk foundation. I got two colors because I originally got bamboo, which I think is the third lightest shade, and I do like it, but it's a little bit orange, not orange, but a little too dark for me right now, so I think during the summer, spring, summer, it should be really great, and then um, I decided to switch to flax, which is, which is the second lightest color, and um, yeah, it's a little bit too light, but um, hopefully between the two of them, I'll find a good mix, but I do like this. The coverage isn't that great, but... Um, it's very light, and, and when they say it's like light as air or light as silk, they really mean it. It's very light, and I feel comfortable putting it on my skin. I don't feel like I'm clogging my pores, so I'll do a review of that, too. Um, later. Nail polish. I got a lot of nail polish. Um, so I went to Ulta. They had this on sale. This is the Ulta Professional Nail Lacquer. Ulta has a regular line, and they have the Ulta Professional line, which is with the Orly OPI China Glaze Essie polishes. Um, this was on sale for $3.75. Normally they're about $8, like $7.50. This one's called Bear It All. I wanted to get something that was kind of like a nudie type color, nude-ish type color. This is a little bit more purpley or mauve than it is nude. Um, I was I didn't realize it was going to come off quite so purple, but I actually really like it. I think it kind of is like a nice twist on a nude, so I do like it. Um, another color I got was by Essie. Actually, these I got from Rite Aid. I didn't know that Rite Aid sold Essie, but now they do, and Walgreens actually does too. Um, so this is called French Affair. I think this is from the French Affair line, but I could be wrong. So it's kind of like a nice pink, baby pink. Um, Another one from the French Affair line is Sand Tropez. Sand Tropez. I wanted kind of like this nice, I don't know, sort of muted nude color. It's more, I don't know, kind of like a gray nude or gray beige, if that makes sense. And then the other one that I got is from, I don't know what line this is from, but it's called Ballet Slippers. And I heard this is supposed to be like a nice, good pink nude color. And I've been really into nudes lately for some reason. I don't know why, but right now I'm not wearing anything on my nails. So, anyway, um, let's see, lip stuff. I got a lot of, uh, I got a lot of lip stuff. So, let's start with the Revlon products, um, which I have quite a bit of. I've got these liquid lipstick, Color Stay Ultimate Liquid Lipstick Colors, or I don't know what they are, liquid lipsticks. Um, this one is called Perfect Peony. It's number one. It's kind of like, it's a pink, I guess, like a medium pink. That's what it looks like swatched. I'll do a review of these because I have a lot to say about these, actually. Um, this one is called Top Notch Tulip. It's number 15, and it's kind of like a nice copper color. If anyone has ever um, tried Lancome's Mars lipstick, this is a nice dupe for that. I don't know if they still sell Mars anymore, but that's one of my favorite lipsticks. So this is Top Notch Tulip right there. Um, and then this one is called Iconic Iris, which is more of a, by the way, this is kind of like a coppery color. I don't know if I mentioned that. This one's more of a, hmm, like a mauve-ish kind of color, a little bit, like, a little bit brown. Okay, I guess I could swatch it better than that. Okay, um, and that is Iconic Iris right there. So, all kind of similar. This is kind of like, I guess, more like a coral. That's the um, Perfect Peony. Um, and then I have some lip glosses, too. These are the, what is it, Revlon Color Burst. I saw, um, what is it, Allison from Amerique's, or Amerique's, um, talk about these. She said she really loved them, so I decided to try them out. And I do, I like them. I, ha I think I have more colors in this. I don't know where all my other colors are, but... Um, 
Next one is Orchid. This is kind of like um, a mauve pink color. It's got glitter and it. it got gold glitter in it. It's a nice pink, I think. It's a nice, good staple pink. Um, and I like the brush, actually. It kind of, like, dips. I don't know if you can see how it kind of, like, dips a little bit, so it, like, really hugs your lip when you put it on. So I like that. And then this other one is called Crystal Lilac. This one almost has, like, blue, a blue sheen to it, so this is really good for, like, cool colored pink lipsticks or to top off cool color lipsticks. Oh, you know what? They're going to turn out looking the same on the swatch because they're so sheer. But this one is, um, what was this? Oh, Orchid. And the other one is Lilac. So, well, Crystal Lilac or something. Um, then, switching gears, this is, oh wait, hold on. Another Revlon product. I got a Revlon Just Bitten Lip Stain. I've got another one of these. I got one in um, Gothic. I think I've swatched that for you guys before. Um, I like these because I really like the, um, lip, I don't even want to call it a lip gloss. I think it's more of like a lip balm. I really like it. Um, this, it's kind of like the pinkest bright pink um, lip stain they have. Um, most of the other ones they have are kind of dark, and I didn't want a dark one, so I thought this would be fun. Um, and I like it. This is by CoverGirl. It's that, what is it, Lip Perfection or something? It comes in, like, this type of packaging. It's really pretty. Um, I have two of these. I don't know where my other one is. This one is called Rapture. No. So. The only thing I don't like about these is that you can't really tell how frosty or glittery what the shades are. Um, because you have, the, the, pack the packaging is, like, stickered shut. So. That's that. It's a nice kind of like peachy, corally spring color, and I, I already love it. Then this is Airy Fairy. This is by Rimmel. It's a staple. I love it. It's one of my favorite lipsticks. Um, this is an elastic finish tube. They have a new packaging thing that I like. That's Airy Fairy. Um, I kind of, I didn't run out of my old one, but I just wanted more. Um, then for brushes, I got a new brush from e.l.f. from Eyes, Lips, Face. This is the blending eye brush from the Mineral, no, not from the Mineral Collection, from the Eco Collection, I think. Maybe it is the Minerals Collection. I don't really know. It's the ones that have the bamboo, whatever. They they come from sustainable products. They kind of, it's kind of the same concept as Eco Tools. Um, the thing is, I think Elf actually is not quite as cost effective as Eco Tools is because Eco Tools you could probably get as a at a drugstore. You probably have access to it somehow. Um, Elf not so much. You have to order it online. They don't have these ones in Target, so they're a bit more expensive. However, I like the shape of this blending brush, and I do like it. As you can see, it's dirty. I've used it. Um, let's see next. Oh, thanks. Oh, what I just bought today. This is um ooh. This is nail polish remover. I got a huge bottle of this. Um, Michelle1218 had talked about it. She got a smaller one that's got like a pump or a really cool pump in it. And I was like, you know what? If I can only get this online because they don't have this available at any of the stores near where I live, then I might as well get the huge bottle and not have to worry about buying it for a really long time because I go through nail polish remover like crazy. Um, but this is supposed to be really good for your nails. It's supposed to remove, it's supposed to clean, and it's supposed to prep your nails for the next time you put nail polish on. It's got really low... Um, um, a really low concentrate, uh, it doesn't have as much acetone as most nail polish removers do, so it's better for your nails. I know there are nail polish removers that are acetone free, so I guess those are best for your nails. Um, but I've never actually tried one of those, so I don't know if that's any good. Um, you guys can tell me if you want, down, down in the, um, comment section, if you guys like acetone free nail polish removers. But, um, yeah, I thought I'd try these out. I tried it this morning, I took off, I mean, not this morning, this afternoon when I got home from work, I took off my nail polish, and I actually really like it. Um, and I like the bottle, I think it looks really cool. This is expensive, because it's a huge bottle, I think it's like $25, and I got it from an independent sailor, um, seller on Amazon.com. I think they're called Nail Etc., or Nails Etc., um, if I can, I'll try and post a link to something that they're selling down below so you can at least have access to whatever it is that they're, to their little independent store on Amazon.com. Um, then I went to Walgreens because I wanted to find the Wet n Wild new trio and, um, what is it, eight color palettes. Um, they open a Walgreens close to where I work now, um, but unfortunately because it's so new, um, they haven't been able to stock any of the new products yet. They have all the regular staples up, 
but new products like those slots are all empty, so none of that's in yet. So I went there and it was all for nothing because there was nothing there for me. So I kind of like walked around. I'd never been in a Walgreens before, um, so that was kind of interesting. They have a lot of stuff. Everything is like, it's just like a really big drugstore. So anyhow. I got the Guardian Triest, um Skin Renew Anti-Sun Damage. This has SPF 28. It's got UVA and UVB protection, and it's supposed to actually reverse signs of sun damage. When I first heard about this um, on the commercial, I didn't really believe that it was true, and I used to live in Puerto Rico when I was younger. Um, I don't ever remember ever putting on sunscreen, ever. And I'm, like, really obsessed with protecting my skin now because I'm terrified that I'm going to get skin cancer. So um, I'm actually really interested in this, and I'm wondering if some of this has, um, if this can help my, um, acne a little bit, because Proactive, I'm not really a big fan of their moisturizer. Like, I like the green tea moisturizer, but, um, it doesn't have SPF in it, which I'm not happy with. So, anyway, and then the other thing I got was the Guardian Nutrice Ultra Lift Pro Deep Wrinkle Dual Eye, um, eye gel cream thing. It's got two. It's got a cream and a gel for your upper and lower lid. Um, I actually just wanted an eye cream, but I couldn't find one that I liked, and this was on sale, so I decided to get it. I don't have any wrinkles or anything, at least not yet. Uh, I mean, maybe I will soon, but um, right now I'm kind of okay. Like, I don't really mind crow's eye, um, crow's feet or anything like that, so whatever. But, um, but I'm hoping that this will help, like, my under eye. Uh, uh, I have dark circles, and I have a little bit of puffiness. Um, I like to think, I think that some of it has to do with the fact that I wear glasses. I've noticed that people who wear glasses tend to have that issue. So I don't know if that's why or if I'm just, um, you know, SOL. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got this. Oh, sorry. I got this. This is... I got this for $1.99. These are just combs. It came, um, it's like a pack of 20. And I actually have been looking for a teasing comb. So I decided to get this. It's got a bunch of stuff in here. And I, I don't think I'm going to miss any of it if, it actually, if I actually lose it or whatever. And the other thing I got was this Tresemme, um, Thermal Creations. This is the heat tamer spray. It minimizes heat damage to your hair. I've heard good things about this, so I decided to try it. I was going to get the Bee Angel something by bedhead or I don't know it's it, I, I, don't, I don't remember but that one was supposed to be for like straight hair and I want volumized hair because I already have straight hair so I, I didn't want that I mean I don't know if you can use it for both I'm sure you can but I didn't want to get it and then be disappointing because it's kind of expensive then the other thing I got which is kind of a big thing I got the um con air I don't know what this is called I oh infinity con air um clampless um, hair curler, and I like it. This thing spins. You can adjust, um, the temperature. Um, it's really kind of, I don't want to say idiot-proof, but if you've ever used a curling iron before, you know how to work this. It's going to be fine. The only thing I don't like about it, though, is that because I have longer hair than, like, say, medium-length hair, like, this would be really great for someone who had, um, short to medium-length hair. Because I have longer hair, it's harder to work than something that has a clamp because I'm wrapping this around, and it's like, you know, this hair is not getting heated up at all, so I, like, slowly have to whatever, and so in the beginning, like, it looks good, or at the end it looks good, but, like, in the middle and between the transition, there are parts where it's like, what happened to your curl? So I'm trying to figure out how to use it. The first time I used it, it turned out pretty well, and then never again. So I don't know what I did. It was beginner's luck, I suppose. I'm going to have to refine my technique in using this, but I do like it. I, I, I think it performs well. I think it just depends on the length of your hair. So I don't know. Who knows? Maybe there's a contest in the future. That's a big hint, which wasn't very hinty. It was more like a just announcement. Yes, I'm going to be having a contest. Um, anyway, so this I got from Target. I got it for, I don't know why I'm wrapping this around. I don't care. Um, for $25. I think it was on sale or something. Anyway, so that's all the stuff that I um, have. I feel like I'm missing. I'm missing a lot of stuff. Like I have a million things in different purses that don't make any sense and I don't know. Anyway, but, oh, and another thing, I recently made a purchase from, what is it, ivysense.com. They do um, paraben-free uh, bath products, so, um, soaps, and um, lotions. I wish they would do body scrubs, but they, I guess they don't. I don't know. Oh, actually, and I went to, um, let's see if I can show it to you. I went to Bath and Body Works and got a body scrub. This is, what is this? This is the Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy Stress Relief um, Sugar Scrub Vanilla Verbena. Verbena. I like the smell. It's 
it, I don't like that it's oily. That's the only thing that I don't like about it. But it is really moisturizing and it is um, really exfoliating. The only problem is it's not really friendly in the shower. Like, I think this is best to use when you don't have the shower on, like, right before or, like, stop the shower in, in the middle and then use it and then put the shower back on because, um, yeah, you don't want water getting into this tub. And then, I don't know, like, I tried using it with the shower on and it just, um, yeah, it was a mess. I was all over the place. Oil was running all over the place. It was just really bad. So, um, I kind of miss the Naturally Victoria's Secret body scrub, but they don't sell it anymore, which is such a shame because I really like those. Um... Anyway, so I got that. I also got another one from Bath and Body Works. I got one from um, a different part of the store that's just like in a, like kind of like a tube. And I really like that one as well. Um, but that one doesn't have any oil in it, so it's not as moisturizing. It's just really exfoliating, which is fine. I just wanted to try something that smells really strong and good. Um, so I think that's it. I will do a haul video for Ivy Scents. I also kind of want to do like a mini haul video for um, Pier 1 Imports because I like them a lot and I've been going there. I've only been twice, but I always find things that I like, which is, I mean, like little things that you wouldn't expect to use. Like I, I got like a, what is it, toaster, like a toast bread thingy where you put like um, slices of toast like on the breakfast table and people just pick it up, but it's got like slots, so I've been using that as my like um, eyeshadow palette holder um, and little things like that. So um, I'll probably be doing a video about that as well. Um, what else? Well, lots of stuff coming up. Anyhow, so that's that. That's what's been happening so far in my life. Um, it's really late. I actually need to pack because I'm going to be out of town this weekend. I'm supposed to, but it's like <laughs> 12 o'clock at night, and I'm really, really tired, but I'm like super stoked. I don't know why, because I guess because I'm talking to you guys, and it's been forever since I have. And um, I just saw I Am Number 4 with my sister. Um, with that guy, I don't know his name, but he's really cute, and I kind of feel weird saying that because he's so much younger than I am, but he's legal, so that's not really making me a perv, is it? I don't know. I'm only 25. That's, I'm like, that's not pervy. I don't know. But he's good looking, and he's a good actor, and I like the girl who's in it, not the girl from Glee. I mean, she's fine, too, but I like the girl, what's her name, Teresa Palmer. I really like her, and, um... Yeah, it's a good movie, and Timothy Oliphant's in it, too, and he's, he's good looking. Um... And he's a good actor. So I read the book, different from the movie. That's how it is. I don't know why I'm giving you a movie review. Who cares? Um, so hopefully I can do like a favorites video for you guys um, for February. I wanted to do one for January. That didn't quite work out. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully I can get like a regular schedule going with these videos um, and try to see how I can work these in with work. Um, we'll see what happens. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please thumbs up. If you, um, want to see my vi see more of my videos, or if you like my videos, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns about anything I've talked about, um, post them below, and I'll be sure to get back to you and answer them, and, you know, whatever. See you guys. Bye!